we're here for the top eight of the Classic Quarter Invitational, and I'm playing against Montolio. I believe that he won the last Invitational with... Let me get it. Stacks. So this is the deck, or one of the decks, that my deck is in theory made to beat. So let's see how it goes. He's playing a lot of larger creatures. What I like to play first, yes. So that's kind of obnoxious. Um, this hand <laughs> looks awesome. I like the mulligan. No. We're just going to go Forest Magus. That was a pretty good draw as well. So he's got, yeah, I was gonna say he's got revokers, which are kind of annoying. Definitely will slow me down, because I can't just throw this guy away into a revoker. Wow, we're drawing insanely. Okay, so Mana Crypt, Soul Ring, okay, hit another land. Still a little bit away from hitting any of the real scary creatures. Like on four, Lodestone happens. Okay, so this is probably going to be a Hierarch. Or Revoker on... My hierarch. Hmm. I th think we just go ahead and play this for two. Okay, so this is where the... Well, I think that actually hurts our opponent. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Yeah, because our opponent's trying to get to 6 mana for like Worm Coil, Duplicant. Maybe it's about to happen. No. 
Nope. Okay, flood. Both flooding. Oh, what's this? Heh. I guess you name Hierarch. Okay. My opponent has one duplicate, one precursor golem, two worm coil engines. So I think that we probably name worm coil. Worm calling, that would be pretty bad. So, like, a golem is pretty bad, but a duplicate we're still in the game against. Okay. So in the sideboard, we see one, two, three, basically just big stuff, right? No dismembers. I think we just stick with this. This swap. And then we have like an emergency explosives. No, let's get rid of the skull clamp and keep it a trinket mage. Okay, so in theory he gained three big guys. Okay, so this hand is fine. Not incredibly powerful. Getting a sphere down? Nope. Anti hammer, huh? Huh. Okay, so I'm protecting my land from like a strip effect or whatever. And we'll pop it, um, or we'll wait as long as possible to pop it because of the small chance that we could draw like the planes, which is what I would find with it. And then I can just find Okay, so sphere. And port.
Yuck. Well, I guess this isn't a lodestone, because lodestone can't be cast. I think I'm going to have to aggressively play out my med mage on lodestone if okay well um let's go ahead and crack this then uh it's probably still a mistake because of the ports Okay, so with any land I can seeds. Um, I can s also start chaining trinket mages. No, no, I can't seeds for a while because of the tangle wire. So I guess having the Skull Clam instead of the Trinket Mage would have been nice in this situation. Because possibly one of these mages would be a Skull Clamp and I would have another permanent on the board. Uh, we have four turns to figure out some sort of resistance. So I think I just have to hit running lands for a while. The Ghost Quarter might actually help. If he plays this right, I think I'll just be ported out of the game. Like, I guess a lodestone would be fine here for... Because I can't, like, really cast anything if a lodestone hits. I mean, maybe I can cast like a noble hierarch, but provoker on hierarch stops. I guess whatever play is being reconsidered. I actually don't even know if I could be in this game with just two ports and a sphere. I think that his deck only has two ports. Yeah.
definitely a mistake to go find the planes though. Like a t okay. I'm guessing another sphere, another wire. Okay. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Maybe I'm just going to make it an explosives. Okay, so needle stops, like workshop, factory, wasteland. No, I'm going to keep in the trinket. Uh... Like, Tangle Wire is really, really annoying. No, let's just put it in the Skull Clamp. Would I like to play first? I would love to. Would I like to mulligan? No. Okay, so this hand's pretty good. And now we have a guaranteed Blood Moon through a sphere, or Magus through a sphere. And an explosives on two to to hit like any revokers or anything. Okay, so we're gonna have a good turn one play. Chalice on zero, huh? Ah, uh, because of wire. Hmm. So I can play an explosives on one. Let's do that. Let's play an explosives on one. And then tap three allows me to get a pride mage down, no matter what. So like I think that another workshop is needed. Well, 
Well, that's fine. <coughs> okay. It may have been smarter just to hammer mage there. I guess that the chalice doesn't really matter. Like maybe it actually hurts our opponent. So I can attack with the Magus, what's this thing named, Worm Coil? Hmm. I attack with the Magus and follow up with a second one. Well, I'm taking a beating here. Okay, next round. <laughs> <laughs> 